a lot of time people say that they need to see those famous word of the day videos to learn new words but tell me something how many of those videos have worked for you hi this is divyesh mistri in today's video i am going to help you take a step forward to become a crackerjack communicator let's begin now since we know what communication and communication skills are let's take the next step in case if you haven't watched the video on what communication is i have linked it here please watch that video it will be easy for you to connect the dots when people say they need to see those word of the day videos to learn a new word i just have one simple question how many of the words from those videos were you actually able to add to your repertoire the reason it did not work for most of you is because that is a snackable content by snackable i mean you saw that video you liked it you saved that video but that video got lost in your saved folder and you moved on to watch another video and another and another and another so that particular word which you felt you learned but actually you did not learn that word let's see how our brain functions as soon as you see or hear a new word it directly goes into your short term memory your short term memory is your brain's capacity to hold a small amount of information for a short amount of time and keep it readily available for you usually this time is a few seconds what happens thereafter well the word vanishes from your memory so the only way to convert this short term memory into a long term memory is to implement the concept of contextual learning but what is contextual learning let's say this in the simplest possible way say suppose you are reading a book and you came across a particular statement like ram was ruminating when gopal met him this should immediately ring a bell in your brains to find the meaning of this word ruminate you search for the meaning of this word ruminate and you find that the meaning of this word is to think deeply about something you take a note either a physical or a digital note in your vocabulary now you go back and read that same statement again and i bet it will make better sense than it did the last time this is called contextual learning you need to do this every single time you see a new word and it may sound time consuming right now but trust me it is not i am a live example of this habit all you need to do is to send a signal to your brain that this is interesting and once it is hardwired this will be an automated process and whenever you see a new word your brain will make a mental note of it and will immediately send you a signal to find the meaning of that word thus enhancing your vocabulary in the most amazing way but why should you enhance your vocabulary because the bigger your vocabulary the shorter and crisper your sentences and the better your communication will be By the way, learning new words is not that difficult. You don't need your vocabulary to be like of Shakespeare or Shashi Tharoor. All you need to do is to take constant, conscious, and concrete efforts every day. Now, what I mean by that is, you need to implement the concept of contextual learning. Otherwise, what happens is you keep on seeing such snackable videos. and it forms a layer after layer after layer in your memory and you may feel good that you came across a word and once again you may feel good that you learned a particular word but actually when you try implementing or recollecting those words in your day to day conversations you will not be able to do that so my only question to you is when will you start like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet i'll talk to you in the next one